everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to talk to you about starting your first project in Analysis Workspace. So when you've logged into Adobe Analytics and you've made your way to Workspace by clicking on the Workspace link here in the menu, you'll be dropped into this project screen where you can create a new project or you can click into existing projects that have already been created. And before we create a new one, I want to show you that you can also set this as your landing page for when you log into Adobe Analytics. So instead of being brought into Reports and Analytics, you can be brought right into Workspace. In a later video, I'll show you how you can set a specific project as your landing page as well. So as you can imagine, to create our first project, we will click on Create New Project. This will open up this modal where we can use a template to create our project, or we can create a blank project. So you see that is the option here up in the top left, but you will see a bunch of other templates here. And these are a combination of standard templates and custom templates. Now, if you are a new user, but your company is not new to Adobe Analytics, there may be some custom templates that have been created for you. So that's a good place to start is to go into custom templates and see which ones have been created by people at your company to see if these are the ones that would be most applicable for you. You may also want to talk to some people at your company and see which templates they suggest that you use. Now, in addition to the custom templates, there are standard out-of-the-box templates that Adobe has created in case they can help you get a jump start to your project. And by the way, think of a project as a dashboard. As you will see, we create, in essence, a dashboard of tables and visualizations and graphs and those kinds of things to let you do all of your analysis. For now, we're actually going to create two projects. The first one I want you to create is a blank project. So I'm going to leave that selected and I'm going to go down here to say create. And this will bring you into this new blank project and it'll set you up with a blank freeform table. And we'll talk about that in another video. But this is the way that you can start fresh with a brand new project. Now we're going to go ahead and save that. So project save and we'll name it. And then we will save that. And there really we have our first project. We've created our first project. But I want to show you a couple more things. So we're going to go back to project, new, get back to our modal. And since your custom templates are going to be different than my custom templates, etc., I'm not going to go into those. I'm going to go into the standard templates. And I'm going to choose this content consumption for web right here. Now you can go through all of these and take a look at what they all contain, what they're named. You can look at the description over here on the right hand side, etc. But for now, I'm just going to create this content consumption project and I'll hit create. And then of course, you'll see that instead of it being blank, it's already put some stuff in here. It's got some different visualizations and tables and we'll talk about those in another video but I wanted to show you that these are all in here. Now the template that you choose will be the one that will be closest to your needs obviously so as you go through those different templates you want to choose the one that will give you the data that you will need and that way you can start with stuff that you know you're halfway there already if they put some of the visualizations and tables in there for you. Now again, in another video, we're going to talk about how to get all these building blocks in here. But I do want to show you one way that you can work with projects and copy from one project to another project. So let's say, for example, that we do want to use this project, but we want to see what else is available in the other projects. So first I'm going to save this project. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to duplicate this tab so that I can leave my first project open there, my content consumption project open. And then on this tab, I'm going to go back to new and I'm going to see what is in the acquisition template there. So I'm going to hit create. 
and you can look all through here, but this first one catches my eye. And I love the idea of having my top referring domains in my project. So I'm going to right click in here and say copy visualization. Click back over to my other project. And wherever I want to put it, let's say I just want to put it down at the bottom. Then I can go down to the bottom. And in the last one, I can right click again and say insert copied visualization. And it will put it below that. And now I didn't have to create that from scratch. I can grab that from the other template and put it into my project. Again, this is something that will help you as you create your first project is to look for what's already there in some of these templates and put it into your template. Now, I could have taken these visualizations one at a time from these other templates and put them into my blank project, and that's fine too. But you might as well start with something that gets you kind of, you know, halfway there or at least a portion of the way there. Now, let's say that if I don't really want one of these things in there, like I don't really need this section flow, then I can always delete that and that is gone. So you're going to delete the noise, the stuff that you're not going to use, and you're going to add the stuff that you do want to use. And in the next video, we'll show you all about adding those things. But I just wanted to show you about working with these projects and that you can create blank projects, you can use the templates, you can copy some of the visualizations and tables from the other templates into your project and start with some tables and visualizations without having to completely start from scratch.